Hey everyone, I wanted to start this vlog earlier in the morning, but I just never got the chance to because we've had a really busy morning. So this is the first vlog in my trip to go get surgery. And my husband is with me, of course. Say hi. Hello. He's not very happy right now, and I'll tell you guys why in just a second. You guys will probably hear a bunch of car noise in the background as well, so sorry about that, and that will also be explained. So, we went to church this morning. We took Ava with us, and a bunch of ladies that had never seen her before got to see her, and one of them got to hold her, and they just loved her. Then we packed up our bags into the car, and we, well, we went to McDonald's first and we got some lunch. Then we packed up our bags into the car and we left. About 15 minutes into the trip, our car just suddenly just stopped. It just completely shut off without warning. So luckily we were right by a gas station, so we just rolled the car into the parking lot and the car will not start back up at all. Won't do anything, right babe? No. And the hotel and hospital are like an hour away. Surgery is super early in the morning, so we have to be down there tonight, which I forgot to mention, it is Sunday, July 8th. I'm really bad with dates, so I had to think to remember it. But oh, it is so terribly hot out here too, and we're just sitting here waiting for one of Josh's friends to come help us to see if we can get our car started or if we need to borrow someone's car or rent a car. We're not really sure what we're gonna do yet, but what a way to start a trip. So I think since it's so hot out, what did you say it was? It's like 80 some- 87 feels like 95. Yeah, 87 degrees Fahrenheit, it feels like 95. So it is so hot and because we're sitting in the car, it's even hotter. So we're gonna take Ava out of the car seat and take her into the gas station and probably wait until his friend gets here to help us but yeah this this is just great <laughs> we have been stuck here for over an hour now probably about an hour an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and a half and i took her outfit off of her because i didn't want her to get hot i know she's just a doll I'm trying to keep her out of the sun too i know she's just a doll but i seriously felt bad for her being out here and I didn't want people to think that I was just gonna let her stay in this warmer outfit. So Josh's friend just got here with the trailer. We're about to load up the car and then I don't know if we're gonna be borrowing a car or renting a car yet, um, but this is really frustrating. Everything will turn out okay. So I'll update you guys when um, we get out of here, probably when we get to the hotel. About an hour and a half ago, we finally got our car onto Josh's friend's trailer. We got it towed to a place where Josh can come back and fix it in a couple of days. I don't know when he's gonna have time to do that because he has to go back to work in a couple of days, but we'll see how it works out. And then um, Josh's mom said she was going to take us down there in her car and just drop us off because the hotel is not far from the hospital so we figured we could just get an uber or something after my surgery and then she could come pick us up again or somebody could come pick us up to bring us back home but then the pastor at our church offered um, to let us use the car that the church owns so that was really nice of him um, so I'm grateful we have a car to drive but it is pretty late now. It's like, what, 5.15 or 5.20 or something like that. We were supposed to be at the hotel at three and we still have a 45 minute to an hour drive. We're on our way to go and pick up our luggage from our car because it's still sitting in our car. And no, Avelina is not in a car seat right now. She's riding on my lap because in Josh's friend's car, there was no room for a car seat and of course I was not gonna leave her in our hot car all this time and I just I never leave my dolls in the car I just I won't do it especially in this heat I'll update you guys when we get to the hotel for real this time maybe who knows what could happen next we're at the hotel finally going up to our room here's Avelina 
She's still in just her white onesie. Okay, here's our room. And yes, you guys are probably like, okay, why do you have two separate beds? Well, Josh likes to roll over in his sleep and like hit me with his arm and stuff. And after surgery, he cannot do that. So that's why we got separate beds, which I'm sad about. Cause we like to cuddle, right babe? Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yeah. Got a mirror over here. Nice TV. Say hi, babe. Hello. Another mirror. Hmm. Let's see what the bathroom looks like. Pretty dark in here. There we go. Actually, a nice big bathroom. This will be easy. Um, to get around in after surgery, so that's really nice. Let's see, a closet. I'll only be here for a couple days, but nice to have. Yeah. Look how tiny Avelina looks on the bed, you guys. She's so tiny. I'm gonna have to change her back into a warmer outfit because daddy decided to turn the AC all the way down to 70. I know that doesn't seem very cold to some of you, but for here, that is very cold. And for me, it's very cold, and for baby. So I'll be changing her soon. But for now, she looks super cute. Actually, I'm really happy with this room. There's a lot of space so Josh can help me around after surgery and everything. So I'm very happy and yeah, that's about it. Now we have to figure out what we're going to do about dinner because we planned on going out to dinner, but we might not now because we're here a lot later than we thought we were going to be. But I don't know. I'll update you guys on whether or not we're going out to dinner or if we just order pizza or I don't know. We might try, what's it called? Uber Eats? Yeah. So we might see if um, we can get somebody to deliver food from, I don't know where, somewhere healthy. I'll probably just eat a salad to be honest because I don't want to eat anything super heavy before surgery in the morning. But at the same time, I'm like tempted to eat something like a bigger meal because I know I'm going to be hungry, but I know better than that. I know I shouldn't do that. So <laughs> I don't know yet. I'll update you guys when we decide. Now I'm going to change Avelina for dinner. We decided we're just going to go out instead of using Uber Eats because there wasn't enough choices for us. Um, Josh didn't really like the choices they had and neither did I. So I'm going to be changing her into this cat romper since she's going to be in the AC now. So it'll be okay for her to be wearing a warmer outfit, but it has an orange cat on it, I was told. Um, and it has turquoise stripes and is white. To be honest with you guys, I thought this whole entire time that this outfit had pink stripes and that the cat was pink. I, I don't know why, but you learn something new every day, especially when you're colorblind. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this yellow headband on her. I asked on Instagram if this yellow headband would go okay with this outfit and like half of the people said yes and half the people said no but I wanted to put her in a yellow headband and I'll explain why when I'm done changing her so I just decided I'll just go with it and it should be okay what do you think mm -hmm. Josh says it'll be okay so we're just gonna change her and then we're gonna go we've got to hurry up because I have to be back to take my um, surgical scrub shower so that's going to be fun
she's all ready to go she looks so cute in this actually I really like it so here's the headband it is a light yellow right yes it's a light yellow and look at her cute little face and here she is in the outfit it's actually a little bit big on her which um, I wasn't expecting but it's really cute and I like that the sleeves are a little bit longer so you can put the little scratch mittens on so cute So yeah, we're gonna put her in the stroller now. The stroller is right over there. And look how big this room is, you guys. The stroller can just sit there. It's not in the way at all. So we're gonna put her in the stroller and go downstairs. How far away is the place we're gonna eat at? We decided to eat at Applebee's. He said two minutes away. Sorry, as he started speaking, I spoke, thinking he was gonna take a second to answer, but Yep, so we're going to go eat dinner now, and I'll probably do a little clip at dinner. As you guys saw, we just came to the Super Target and it has its own parking garage. Like my mind is blown. I have it's never. It's on top of the store. It's on top of the store. I have never seen a store with its own parking garage. So let's see how good this Target is. I bet it'll be really cool. What do you yeah, think? Probably. Of course, we had to use the elevator. But look how big the elevator is. It's huge. We already went to dinner and I didn't film anything because it was really dark so you couldn't really see anyway but I had a salad he had a salad well we had the same thing we had salads and we had what's it called uh, it's a three cheese chicken penne yeah so it's like cheesy pasta with chicken on top grilled chicken it was really good Wow. Oh, the store's gonna be cold. <laughs> like the door's open, it was just mm -hmm. like a blast of freezing cold air. Well, this is an adventure for sure, isn't it? Yep. It looks like they have stuff I've never seen before, but I have not been to Target in a very long time. Oh, that's cute. The fish one's cute too. I'm not planning on buying anything. Rory needs this, huh? Doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Rory needs this. Or Leyland. 
because it would just be funny. Yeah, I'm not planning on buying anything. I just decided to come and look because I probably won't feel like walking around sightseeing after surgery. But hey, you never know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. My last surgery was terrible. Oh, so I was going to explain to you guys why she's wearing a yellow bow. Because she is. She's rebuckled in here, but we were kind of in a hurry. Uh-oh, I don't know what happened to her little lamb. Did I drop it? Oh, please don't tell me I dropped it. There it is, okay. Um, but she's wearing yellow bow because I'm going to have surgery for endometriosis, which is a chronic illness. Um, and it's also categorized as a disease, but they do not know what causes it. Part of it is genetic. They do know that, but they have no idea what causes it. But it's an extremely painful disease and causes a lot of symptoms for some women and yeah i'm not going to go into detail about it but yeah yellow is the color for endometriosis i had a really cute onesie coming for her from amazon that said i wear yellow for my mom and it had the yellow ribbon on it for endometriosis but it did not get here in time it didn't, didn't. Nope. it's supposed to be here in like two days or something so that's too late we need to put this down we usually do when we have her in the stroller but we didn't this time it's actually in this area right now and then also i forgot to mention that i having um go look at the clearance stuff but I'm getting two surgeries in one because my surgeon found something else wrong as well. So unexpected surgery along with the one I already knew I was going to get. What does this one say? <laughs> Look, isn't this cute, babe? It says made with lots and lots and lots and lots of love. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. <laughs> There was this really cute dress with bloomers and a hat that I wanted so badly in it when I went to a different Super Target, because this is a Super Target, and it's not anywhere near where we live, so I didn't get to go back and get one, and now I'm looking for them here, but I don't see them. Did you see them? I didn't see them either. Yeah, he's been looking for them for me too, but... I'm really sad I missed out on them. I knew they were gonna sell out because they were really cute. But maybe one day I'll find them again. This is kind of cute. It has the little sun hat with it. I really wanna find a newborn outfit with a sun hat. Not for this trip, but maybe for another trip sometime. Sorry if I'm moving the camera quickly. I'm kind of in a hurry because we've still got to go back and got to do surgery prep stuff before I go to bed, so. And what time is it now? Nine. Nine p.m., yeah. And in an hour, I won't be able to eat anything anymore. That is so sad. Because I love midnight snacks, don't I? Yep. <laughs> He's always getting after me for eating midnight snacks. Wow, so many strollers and car seats. And we drove by the hospital. And it's like a, what would you call it? Like a specialty hospital? Yeah. Women and it looks and really, yeah, it's for women and babies only. So it looks really cool though. I'm excited to see what it looks like on the inside and yeah. Oh, I like this. And it's soft too. So there will be two more parts to this video. Part, this will be part one for, well, it'll be day one, day two, and day three of the trip. <gasps> I like this. Cute, huh? Mm -hmm. 
or need a new rock and play. But I've been waiting to find one at Once Upon a Child. And we did see them. So, well, we did see how many, like three of them. Mm -hmm. At Once Upon a Child last time we went. Oh, I like this too. The sw um, swing. But we didn't get one because I wasn't planning on buying one that day. All right, well, I guess I'll get back to you guys when there's something interesting to show you or when we leave. I'm probably going to just do another clip or two and then that'll be it for day one. Day two is gonna start off really early. It's gonna start at like 2.30 or three in the morning. We're looking at the pacifiers now. I don't really see anything new. Hmm. But guess what, you guys? Ha! <laughs> just kidding. Just totally kidding. I'm just bloated because I ate dinner. Symptom of endometriosis, you guys. Just saying. It's not a fun one. <laughs> We're back at the hotel now. It is about 9.30, so it's definitely time for me to take my surgical scrub shower. I believe that that's what it's called. And then go to sleep. I'm actually starting to get really nervous about this, but I know there are a lot of people thinking about me and praying for me, and thank you to everyone who is praying for me. I truly appreciate it so much. And thinking about this, it's pretty scary, but um, I have my wonderful husband here, and he's going to take good care of me. So anyway, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching, everyone.